freak up the streets. When regret is your fondest memory, Andy Garrison stars as William, a middle-aged man who finds it easier to play dead than face his past. Everyone makes some noise for freak up the streets. nice man in the neighborhood who hangs out with kids, but it wasn't like that at all. If anything, we were the pervs. We were always asking him about sex and girls and BJs and what those t-shirts with, if it feels good, do it meant. But he never got into any of that stuff with us. Once we asked him if he had any playboys or pictures of naked ladies we could look at, and he brought out this book, Check Out This Foxy Mama. I've never seen anything like it before. Neither one of us had. You see that creep? Oh yeah, and that's how we talked to him too. I, I can't believe he put up with us, but he did. Is that a foot or a boot? <laughs> it's a Picasso. In addition to his birds, he had this pet possum named Fonzie. And he didn't keep it in a cage or anything. He just let it run around free. This, this big, hairy, skull-faced possum had the run of the place. Oh, and his house, it was so weird on the inside. You in there, freak? <laughs> there were all these stacks of books all over the place. Can anybody really read all these stupid books? And, and a chair was the only furniture in his living room. Maybe he spent all his money on books, who knows? That's probably why he's such a spazzle, it's all clogged up in there. And what you reading, freak? Breakfast of Champions by Kurt Vonnegut, Jr. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tasty book, Will. Almost everything that came out of his mouth was bizarre. I remember asking him about religion once. Hey, um, do you believe in God? <sighs> William, if man himself can envision a being who is beyond time and space and who is all-powerful with infinite love and forgiveness for all, that, my dear William, is God enough for me. I thought he meant good enough. God enough, William. God enough. Whoa! That's definitely a boob. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 